what is the best way to wire two batteries in parallel for car audio purposes where keeping the amount of resistance down is the goal for the maximum amount of voltage. Um, do you think it's from this terminal to this terminal and then to your distribution point, your amplifiers, and then same thing. So there to there and there to there, because that is how I see most people wire their batteries in parallel is just positive to positive. And then they just, you know, run it from the one battery to the next. So what I'm going to do today is I am, we're going to test that. We're going to see if that's the correct way to do it, if that's the best way, or if there's a better way to do it. And so what I'll be using today to um, test my ACIR, um, which is pretty typical to a pretty typical way to measure the, the resistance when you're using batteries. Um, I'm going to use an RC3563. Uh, and more so than the total results, we're looking at comparatively. So um, this thing is actually pretty accurate, but just keep that in mind that, you know, this is, it's like a $50 tool, so it's not gonna be spot on. So first, actually, let's go ahead and get one battery hooked up. That way we will be able to see our resistance. And then we'll have our base level with one battery. Okay, now I'm going to hook up uh, the resistance tester, and this does have Kelvin clips, so it has, you know, it keeps the, the current wire and the sense wire separate, which is what you want if you want, you know, pretty good results. And right now you can see at the terminals, we're at two, 0.396 milliohms. Um, again, this is the number that impacts how much voltage you lose. Um, so the lower this number is, the better. That's the goal. So, side you have too much voltage drop, and you do need to add a second battery. What we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this and we're actually going to put on some terminals here. That way we can run them. And this is, again, this is the most common way I see people um, hooking multiple batteries up in parallel. Okay, now I have the distribution blocks hooked up. Um, and first thing we wanna do is we wanna get the battery hooked back up and we'll get a measurement with the distro blocks. Um, that way we know, again, our base level before we even begin to wire it. And, and for the record, both of these tests, these batteries tested about 1.97 at the terminals. Okay, so we're about 2.58 milliohms now um, connected directly to the battery. And 
is there time to test? Um, first, what we'll do is the way most people hook it up, we'll go positive to positive, negative to negative. That's why the distro blocks are hooked up. Um, and then measure what we're getting at the distro blocks. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get the, the grounds connected. Okay, so now um, now we'll go positives. Okay, now all that's left is to tighten these bolts up. Now, let's measure the internal resistance of the battery. Okay, so um, looks like the IR has improved quite a bit. Again, that would be the point of getting another battery. Um, see, we're about 1.83 now. Um, so we will now go ahead and try it with the battery going directly to the distribution block. So it'll be each battery is positive and each battery is negative. And they'll meet there, and then we'll measure the IR again. Okay, so um, I got this one. Now I'll take off the other block and measure the IR. All right, go ahead and get this here. And we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to loosen this a little bit to get it at a better angle.
Okay, so now what we've done is we've gone to the distro points with it, assuming that these are going to your amplifier. And now we will again come in and test the IR. Okay, now you can see 1.332. Um, that may not seem like a lot, but when you're talking, you know, over, well, like right at half a milliohm, um, I mean, it, it gets substantial. Half a milliohm is, you know, a half a volt of drop just by itself at a thousand amps. Um, but more importantly, when you're talking half a milliohm and you're only at 1.3 without it, you know, that's, you're over a 33% increase. Um, so if you're looking at 1.8, shaving 0.5 off that, that's, you're going to get a lot more power out of the system and your voltage is going to keep up a lot better. So there you have it. It is what 1.8 versus 1.3. Just let me know if you have any questions, guys. Um, again, both of these batteries were 1.97, but after the additional wiring going to a distro block, we were able to get a total IR of 1.362. Um, yeah, again, just let me know if you have any questions, and have a good one, everyone.